Hello and welcome to CCIEadvisor.com. In this lesson we will be discussing how to set a switch port to a dynamic trunk and so we are going to use the switch port interface Fast Ethernet 08 on our switch. It will be the same kind of configuration for a gigaport interface so um, excuse me, gigabit interface, gigabit port so don't let that throw you off uh, it'll be the same either way and it, the technology works in the same manner just more bandwidth so here we are we will do a show run short for show running dash config now we'll only hit the spacebar a couple times and we'll see here interface fast ethernet 08 is set for switch port mode access we are going to set it for a mode that's dynamic dynamic trunking okay so we are going to use this interface here and it is set for switch port access VLAN 10 configure terminal enter and now into the interface interface fast ethernet in this case 0 8 and now for the command to set the interface to uh, dynamic trunking would be switch port mode dynamic if you hit the question mark you can see the list there and the spelling the context auto or desirable you can set it to automatically set depending on what the other side is for or desirable and we'll go ahead and choose desirable that's what it's for right out of the box desirable hit the question mark and you can see that there's nothing left to configure and we can go ahead and type the carriage return or the enter key now type end and we can do a show run now there's other ways besides show running config to see we'll cover that in another like a show a show lesson since everybody's comfortable with show run I like to do that so now we have it set for a VLAN 10 and the mode is dynamic and if it if it has um, the correct settings on the other side it will negotiate for a trunk we can do control C to get back to the privilege level do a write mem or write to memory or in other words copy running configuration startup config same thing that will be saved in case of a reboot or an accidental unplugging so we have covered how to set a switch port to dynamically trunk if the settings are correct on the other side and thank you for joining us